The Medium well, is an next-gen psychological biased, horror game that plays out across two realities, our world, that a few days ago. and the spirit world. Now, I'm super excited for the next gen console. Thanks to the super power of the hardware, home, you will be able to play in both worlds at the same X. time. But Let's see the how showcase was a little bit disappointing. I wish they showed this game more. They literally showed it for like, at I don't know, like seconds. Because they were playing the through so many songs. games. But they could have made the event a little fledged, longer and showed most of the game. Like this game looks so you can amazing explore and it's only going to look better. The spirit version to me, this kind of looks like next no gen. Kind of closer to Last of Us graphics now, to be honest. Thanks to the medium sense, Other than you that, can see a secret um, passage Halo behind the cabinet. Infinite. I almost said Halo 3. Halo Infinite was a very disappointing game. Visually wise, but the gameplay, mechanic, and everything uh, figures. was very fantastic. There's got to be a way to it power like it up. Cool Halo combat evolved. Let's see how That's we can the use the interactions like, between the, way the, the realities play style is, to open the entrance. To me, they should have shown off like more of this. Like first impression is everything, Microsoft. They should have As I moved showed off camera, also on um, Boys of Motorsports. I mean, we saw a game engine clip or whatever that... um, it looks amazing but I would have loved to see there. like the game in action looks like, a passage. like what Sony did with uh, Grand 2 but they showed us the game running in real time a and it looks well. amazing um, I could absorb some of that energy if anything they should have showed more like of this game one. they should have shown this gameplay because that's what they were really marketing is like gameplay gameplay okay. gameplay gameplay and yet the we got um, not a substantial amount of the entrance uh, has opened in the spirit world, gameplay. We got a lot of teasers and a lot of in engine gameplays. Still um, anyway, in. Uh, with me rambling on, I will also the, unique leave psychic a link ability, in the description box. The out of body. Nice Let's her leave her physical medium, self to explore the spirit one. world more freely. And since I have the Game Pass Ultimate, this will be included for free. I mean, don't get me wrong, I will still. Play Halo, and I will still play Another all the, your, is the, the other first-party games. Because, uh, Might as well my money. You can use this energy <laughs> against hostile spirits. <sighs> but this game looks amazing. But also, um, I can charge up real-world electrical objects and to play it. But other than other than that, there's a couple other games, but to be honest, I can't even remember them. Oh, um, Cross. I don't know what it's called, Crossfire X or whatever the heck Marianne it's called. Marianne cannot fully control her gift to live in two worlds simultaneously. Like a little bit of a, like a campaign, like what the fuck gameplay is of it. This? And most of the game Throughout is the game, just gonna be... you will get to experience the worlds well, in various combinations. If you saw and you the showcase, never know there's like a little disclaimer at the bottom of the, of the, of the, um, the screen <laughs> that says that the multiplayer version is going to be included for free, but if you want the single player campaign, so obviously we have to pay. Considering that this game was made by, um, the game was made by Remedy, which did Control, so they're not actually a Microsoft studio, but they will be including the, let me see if I can find it, let's, let's, let's do it. Cross Fire X. Gameplay or whatever. I think this is it. But this one looks amazing. It's made by Remedy. They did Control, and then they did um, another game. Oh, damn it, I can't. I can't remember the other game. But it looks like more Call of Duty. But hopefully, it's better than Call of Duty, so we don't have to deal with that shit anymore. And this is the Crossfire X campaign. Look at that. That looks freaking gorgeous. Looks amazing. But I'm not sure if it's going to be a um, an exclusive title because Remedy is no longer Microsoft Studio. They're their own entity. That's why Control was released on all platforms, including PC, PlayStation 4, and the Xbox. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? This one there. But there is a little disclaimer. The multiple. Aha! Aha! There it is! 
There it is. Crossfire X multiplayer is free to play. Xbox Live Gold required. Single player, not in Xbox Game Pass. Sold separately. There it is, folks. There you have it. Even though it does, it does say console launch exclusive. So are we going to only be getting it for a certain amount of time before it's released on other platforms? Including PC as well as PlayStation 4. Is that what console launch exclusive means? I don't know. But this game, um, totally hyped for it. It looks great. I can't wait to play this one as well as the medium. And uh, there's, of course, Fable. Fable's coming back. That was one of my favorite games back then. This is my, that was actually my first RPG game that I've actually ever played. It was Fable. And that was on the original Xbox. Fable 1. So I can't wait to play Fable. It's gonna be amazing. But anyway, this is somewhat unbiased. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Have a good one.